Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 25th day in the month of January 2023, I am Grace Stalkers in Yikachi. First the major headlines. House of Reps urged security agents to cop forest and end killings in a boy state. I make fully prepared for 2023 elections, Rec tells Federal Capital Territory Administrations. Abia PDP governorship candidate Professor Uche Ikoni is dead. We take commercials, we'll be right back with details and many more. Stay connected. It has been said that 70% of home buyers settle for their first home when they see it. Over time, we have created a wide range of happy customers by building the homes that suit their needs. Why settle for average when you can have a luxury home inside a gated estate in Lagos? Welcome to Kenzo Luxury Homes, a development by Kenzo Group of Companies Nigeria Limited. Our featured home is a gorgeous private home of five bedrooms with a room BQ located at a serene and beautiful environment at Lekki Palm City Estate, Aja Lekki, Lagos. Finely crafted and designed specifically to give you the luxury and comfort you deserve. Why make this your next home? The features include five bedrooms with a room BQ, spacious living room, all room en suites, stunning master bedroom, modern fitted kitchen, serene neighborhood, carefully designed staircase, private swimming pool, detailed finishing, and large compound space. This home sits on 500 square meters. The title is General C of O. Price 130 million naira. For details and inspection, please call 0903 717 9034. Be a smart investor. Guarantee your family a secured future with Kenzo Luxury Homes. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants. Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. Former Senate Minority Leader and Senator representing Abiyan South, Eninaya Baribe, has said that the state governor, Kezi Bazu, has no pathway to defeat him in the upcoming National Assembly election for the district. Governor Bazu is seeking to represent Abiyan South Senatorial District on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, while his former ally and ranking Senator Baribe is also eyeing the same seat despite serving. For a record of 12 years. Political talks believed to be working for a chief ten of the Abia State chapter of the All Progressives Congress APC numbering over 20 on Tuesday attacked support groups loyal to the Senate Chief Rep Senator Oji Uzokalu at the Umaya Township State German Umaya the State Capital. The talks who wore black face cap polo and trouser attacked Senator Kalu support group who came to join other APC faithful to welcome the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Hamed Tinibu, whose campaign team arrived to state as part of effort to seek the votes of Nigerians ahead of the 2023 general elections. Senator Rocha Sokorata, a former Imo State governor, has launched a child and sponsor a child project aimed at targeting 1 million out of school children and bringing them to school. This was made known on Wednesday by Okorata at the unveiling of the project in Abuja on Tuesday. Speaking during the lunch, the former governor noted that the country owned a responsibility to give every Nigerian child and unborn children the right education for their liberation. The House of Representatives on Tuesday called on heads of security agencies to comb forest in a boy state being used by arsonists. It said that the height of killings going on was unacceptable. In the adopted resolution by the lower legislative chamber, the lawmakers called on the chief of army staff to set up a military checkpoint at Amaze Expressway, Ishago and Ivo local government area of Ebony State. This followed a motion of urgent national importance sponsored by Honorable Makwe Linus Makwe representing Ohozara Onicha and Ivo 
federal constituency of Ebony State. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has received assurance from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, that the FCTA is ready to successfully conduct the general elections in 2023. Alahaji Yahaya Bello, the FCT Resident Electoral Commissioner, REC of INEC, provided the guarantee while paying the FCTA a courtesy visit. The Obidati Presidential Campaign Council has condemned the alleged attack on the campaign train of its candidate Peter Obi after a rally in Castina on Monday. According to the campaign team, the said attack took place after Obi had met with women in the town hall and then held a rally at the Muhammad Dako Stadium. Obi took his campaign to Castina where he promised to tackle hunger, insecurity and unemployment among others. Civil society organizations and the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP in Castina State have reacted to Governor Aminu Bello Masari's alleged approval of 499 million six hundred and fifty thousand naira from the local government joint account for the purpose of mobilizing residents to welcome president Mahmoud Wari to the state on thursday january 26th one adam farouk a cleric has banned lifetime in prison for molesting and sexually violating eight pupils the cleric was convicted and sentenced by an cage of sexual offenses and domestic violence court on tuesday for defiling the pupils aged between six and eleven in his class. Justice Abiola Soladoye held that the prosecution proving beyond reasonable doubt the ingredients of the eight count charge bordering a sexual assault by penetration brought against the cleric Nan reports. Abia State Governorship candidate for the People's Democratic Party PDP Professor Uche Naikone is dead. ABN TV reports that Professor Ikone was a former vice chancellor of the Abia State University Uturu. He passed away at the National Hospital of Abuja in the early hours of Wednesday, 25th January 2023, after a brief illness. His son, Dr. Uche Ikone Chikeze, announced. On the foreign scene, the new Zikon hypersonic missiles was successfully tested by the Russian Navy using computer simulation during a maneuver in the Atlantic Ocean. It was announced on Wednesday. While in sports, President of Nigeria Football Federation Alhaji Ibrahim Musa Gusu has assured players and officials of the national under-17 women's team, the Flamingos, who won bronze at the 2022 FIFA under-17 women's World Cup in India last year, that their bonuses will be paid in no distant time. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. Before we go, we cover major stories. House of Reps urged security agents to cop forests and end killings in a boy state. INEC fully prepared for 2023 elections, Rec tells FCTA. Abia PDP governorship candidate Professor Uche Ikone is dead. These and many more with different platforms just log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on all social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dorcas Unikachi. Have a pleasant night. Stay safe.